Veteran animator Toshiyuki Inoue gives some animators advice to negotiate better wages. Veteran animator Toshiyuki Inoue, recently the animator on Makuya of the Promised Flower Blooms, wrote several tweet threads on March 2 to 3 in response to the Japan Animation Creators Association, Janika's latest report on uh, the current working conditions of animators. The report revealed that young people continue to face harsher working conditions in the anime industry, even as conditions appear to improve for older people. On average, young people between 20 to 24 years earn 1,550,000 yen, 40,000 US dollars per year, which is 1 million yen less than the national average for the age group. Inoue tweeted that when he was young, animator for some 35 years ago, he used to be paid 160,000 yen per year per in between frame. He said that he hopes that the standard rate goes up to at least 300 yen, but ideally it should be 400 yen. According to the report, that in any case, close to Gender Plus program in 2017, in between animators currently earned around 200 per yen per frame. He also stated in the same tweet that a cut of three animation was worth 1,700 yen 35 years ago. This number has increased to 4,000 yen in modern times. In other words, the wall of value of key animation has increased far more than in between animation has over time. If the price ratio between key animation and between animation was around 11 to 1 or 10 to 1, back then, the end ratio day in the animation ought to pay for an According to Inuit, another factor to take into consideration is how long it takes to draw an in between frame. 35 years ago, Inuit knew of people who drew 1000 between frames in a month. In a month. But this will be impossible nowadays because the complexity of the character designs mean that drawings take longer to produce. This implies that in between animation nowadays should be worth more comparatively. Friends, young in between animator Desui Sakurai recently said on Trigger's third Patreon founded live stream that he draws about 10 in between frames a day, and that it generally takes him around an hour to draw each frame. Inu said that he hopes his statements can power young and negotiate for a better deal. He cautioned against demanding a higher rate straight off the bat, and instead encouraging people to use his statements as leverage. This veteran animator is saying that it takes twice as long to draw animation nowadays than he is in the current rate. Inoue said that expect, he expects the production site to have one or three reactions to his line of questioning. Wow, I had no idea. Really look into it. If it's true, then we we'll would do something about it. Animation is too expensive to these days. If it's half the price of key animation, it will be the same as before. Inoue said that a regular company will have the First reaction, but a good company will have a second. The third reaction is a red flag. Inoue stressed that production company and production committees are not inherently the enemy. Rather, they are friends. In, in another Twitter, tweet, Inoue shared his belief that the best person to talk to, to on the production side is a sympathetic producer. Because they have influence over the budget, he said that talking to the association Japanese animation won't produce results because the group is made up of athletes affiliate animation production companies. The most you can expect a feeling or request is a diplomatic an answer like we are looking into the issue. Even Janika, which is an advocacy group for workers in the anime industry, has encountered roadblocks when it comes to create tangible change at the top level. According to Inui, former Alchemist Brotherhood Director and Chica representative Yusuhiro Ire submitted a request to hold a conference where animators and companies could freely exchange opinions about improving anime production schedules. But this was ultimately ignored. Inoue noted a structural change won't, un won't happen unless there is a momentum coming from many different sides. This means that the young animators should feel the need to approach the issue rashly, especially if this can result in them losing work. If the data from the Janica report is spread widely, even high-profile voices from around the industry speak up, then those at the top such as company president and production committees, can be convinced Inui hopes that if these voices can prompt the Fair Trade Commission and a small and medium enterprise agency to lay out guidelines, then there will be true momentum in reaction to Inui's other animators has been speaking up about money matters. Akiko Nakano tweeted that around 40 years ago, in between animation frames, used to pay around 150 yen. She stated that you take Inu Taking account the complexity of drawing these days, even 600 yen per frame is too low. Even in the past, 150 yen was far too low. 
so just reiterate to a comparative level to the past will still be grossly unfair to animators. Mizui Ugawa mentioned that young animators who haven't learned about the standard race can easily get up into getting paid if it's listed in standards. She said that 30, 30 years ago, she had believed that 80 yen was a standard for new animators and accepted this amount for a regional studio for 6 years. Shizako Kozuma tweeted that some studios pay animators exclusive money so that they can only produce work for that particular studio. Depending on your age and how far you are in your career, Kozuma cautions that you should not accept an exclusive contr exclusivity contract because the amount you make into total may not be livable. According to his advice, the minimum you should accept if you are if you are a young animator is 100,000 yen, plus the rates you receive per drawing. Chanika submitted his report that the 2018 research project of blah blah blah, and she reported Janika's data on the web. Article has since been removed from the site.